Oh, Mohamed, IFL Super proudly sponsored by Everlast. Post fight after Usyk uh, keeps the heavyweight titles in Ukraine. Your immediate reaction, please, Spencer. Wow, what a fight! That's all I'm saying. What a fight! We never thought we was going to see the 12th round, did we? We thought that if Anthony Joshua was going to win the fight, he was going to get it done inside six, seven rounds. Otherwise, Usyk would stop him late. None of us thought that we'd do that, see that. But Joshua, he stopped Riz tonight. He stopped Rose tonight. I mean. He, he, he dug deep there. Usyk, you know, he pushed it. I had it levels after nine rounds. I had it all level, but then I had Usyk running away. Joshua had an unbelievable ninth round, and then Usyk done what superstars do, not great champions, superstars. He turned it around, and he took it to Joshua, and that seemed to take a little saying out of him. I had Usyk winning the last three rounds, but what a great fight. What a memorable fight, man. Um, yeah, that was superb. I think that Joshua... Boxed out of his skin. you got to give the guy credit, man. I think he takes too much shit, if I'm totally honest. And I think he's hard done by. You know, he's a two-weight world champion. And he come out there... Two-time. Two-time, um, sorry, world champion. And he come out of there, for me... With flying colours, I think that that was that was a good performance, mate. Like he got, he he doesn't get enough credit, Anthony Joshua. He gave the crowd what they wanted there. The only way he was going to win that fight is if he was going to meet Usyk head on and throw shots when Usyk was delivering, and that's exactly what he done. And he made it a close fight. Spencer, you were extremely close to the ring. We saw Anthony very aggrieved after yeah, the fight. Was. I don't know what he did with the belts. He then was talking to people in the crowd. Can you just tell us what yeah, happened? Yeah, so he walked over out of nowhere. He's gone over and he's taken the belts. And he's brought the belts over to the corner where me and Andy are sitting. And he's like, fucking fuck the belts. And he's just thrown the, thrown the belts. Emotions were running high, man. Like, I think it was... I think it was more about, not that Alexander Usyk won, because I think he accepted that. I think it was more about what people thought of him. And that's why he started telling people the story about his life. You know, before he got into boxing, his drinks, the drugs and everything else. And then boxing saved him. And then he's giving a little something back, but he never gets the respect he deserves. People don't know about all the charity work and everything else that he does. Do you know what I mean? People don't know about all the money that he donates, all the kids that he brings over from Finch ABC to Saudi Arabia on private jets and he pays for more to come here so that he can see their heavyweight champ box. You know, he's a good guy, Joshua. He does a lot for the local community. And I think that's why the emotions were running so high. And, um, yeah, fuck, he lost the plot there at the end. He really did. But I'm glad that he got back in the ring, grab, grabbed the flag with what's going in the Ukraine at the moment. You know, and what Alexander Usyk and, and all his team are even going through is incredible. You know, the whole nation were behind him and he deserved the victory. But I'm glad that Joshua got back in and resolved all that because, yeah, emotions were running high, man, and he lost his shit. Spencer, appreciate your time, mate. Cheers, bro. My dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. That's bloke's outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story, so stay tuned. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness App and find your greatness within.